How can couples keep the spark alive in their long-term sexual relationships? What impact does stress have on sexual function? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. To maintain the spark in a long-term sexual relationship, it's important to focus on open communication, experimentation, emotional intimacy, and variety in sexual life. Mutual exploration and rediscovery can keep the passion alive. Stress can affect sexual function by decreasing libido, causing dysfunction, and affecting emotional intimacy in the couple. Effective stress management through techniques such as relaxation and open communication is key to maintaining healthy sexual function. Role-playing games are a common way to explore sexual fantasies. Couples can take on roles and scenarios to unleash their creativity and enhance sexual arousal. In Middle Eastern countries like Qatar and Saudi Arabia, sex education is usually limited and based on Islamic values, with a focus on modesty and sexual morality according to religious interpretation. Screening tests. STD screening tests can be performed at health clinics, medical offices, and sexual health centers, and some STDs can also be diagnosed through home testing kits. Seminars and workshops. Events and workshops dedicated to the study and practice of the Kama Sutra are organized worldwide, providing opportunities to learn and experience its teachings interactively. Sensual aromatherapy. Using essential oils with aphrodisiac scents, such as lavender, vanilla, or jasmine, during foreplay can stimulate the senses and increase the feeling of relaxation and well-being. Sex and aging. As people age, their sex life can continue to be satisfying. In fact, many older individuals report a more satisfying sex life compared to their youth. Sex and chronic diseases. Individuals with chronic diseases such as diabetes, arthritis, or multiple sclerosis can still enjoy a fulfilling sex life. Open communication with a healthcare professional is key to addressing concerns and adapting intimacy to individual needs. Sex and Science The science of sex, known as sexology, is a multidisciplinary field that explores human sexuality from a scientific perspective. Sexologists study a wide range of topics, from sexual anatomy to sexual therapy. Sex and Dreams some people experience erotic dreams in which they engage in sexual acts. These dreams can be normal and reflect sexual desires or concerns. Sex in space. As space exploration advances, questions arise about how sex will take place in space. Microgravity conditions may pose unique challenges for sexual activity. Sexting phenomenon. Sexting, or the exchange of sexual or erotic messages via electronic devices is an increasingly common practice among young people, although it can also pose risks to privacy and safety. Sexual desire in menopause. Menopause can affect women's sexual desire due to hormonal changes. However, many women experience increased sexual freedom after menopause. Sexual education. Comprehensive sexual education in schools and communities plays a crucial role in STD prevention by providing accurate information about safe sex, condom use, and the importance of regular testing. Sexual exploration. For many people, open relationships offer the opportunity to explore their sexuality more broadly and experiment with different partners and sexual practices consensually. Sexual fantasies and gender roles. Sexual fantasies can challenge traditional gender roles, allowing people to explore aspects of their sexuality that may not align with social expectations. This can include role reversal fantasies or unconventional scenarios. Sexual pleasure. Sexual pleasure is an important part of the human experience and can manifest in various forms, including physical contact, erotic stimulation, emotional affection, and shared intimacy. Sexual therapy. 
Masturbation is often used in sexual therapy as a way to help women overcome sexual problems, such as anorgasmia or lack of sexual desire. Sexuality and culture. Sexuality is strongly influenced by cultural factors, such as social norms, religious beliefs, and family traditions, which can lead to a wide diversity of attitudes and sexual practices in different parts of the world. Sexuality and mental health. Sexuality is closely related to mental health and emotional well-being. Issues such as depression, anxiety, and stress can affect a person's sexual life. Sexuality and advertising. Sexuality is often used in advertising to sell products, leveraging sexual attraction and gender stereotypes to capture public attention and drive sales. Sexuality and art. Since ancient times, sexuality has been a recurring theme in art, represented in paintings, sculptures, and other forms of artistic expression as a reflection of cultural and social beliefs about the body and desire. Sexuality in old age. Sexuality does not disappear with age. Many older people enjoy an active and satisfying sex life and may continue to experience intimacy and pleasure as they age. Sexuality and therapy. Sex therapy is a specialized field that helps people address sexual problems and improve their sex life through exploration of thoughts, emotions, behaviors, and relationships related to sexuality. Shockwave therapy for erectile dysfunction. Shockwave therapy is a non-invasive treatment that uses acoustic waves to improve blood flow to the penis, which may help improve erectile function in some men. Short hair fetishism involves a particular attraction to people with short hair, either for their aesthetic appearance or fetishistic associations. Simulated orgasms. Some women have admitted to faking orgasms during sexual encounters. This may be due to various reasons, including social pressure or concerns about their partner's satisfaction. Sleep benefits. Masturbation before bedtime can help some women fall asleep more easily as it releases relaxing hormones and reduces stress. Smart toys. With the advancement of technology, smart sex toys have emerged that can be controlled via mobile apps, allowing couples to connect remotely and customize their sexual experience. Smoking and erectile dysfunction. Smoking can significantly increase the risk of developing erectile dysfunction due to the effects of tobacco on blood vessels and blood flow to the penis. In certain African countries like South Africa and Botswana, specific sex education programs have been created for people with disabilities, recognizing the importance of addressing their unique health and sexuality needs. In South Korea, sexual education focuses on preventing internet and pornography addiction, as well as promoting healthy relationships and consent in a context of high academic and social pressure. Spontaneity versus planning. While some women prefer spontaneous and unpredictable sexual encounters, others may feel more comfortable and relaxed when sexual activities are planned or scheduled in advance. Stimulation of erogenous zones. In addition to the clitoris, women have a variety of erogenous zones on the body that can be stimulated during foreplay, such as the nipples, neck, inner thighs, and ears. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.